What's up? I'm going to explain how to share private YouTube videos for 2020. I'm going to explain why unlisted videos really are not as secure as you might think. I'm also going to touch on a procedure that allows you to share private videos easily. I'm going to explain it. There's not too many creators out there that actually explain it properly. You, you have, have found, found the right, right video. video. If you've never been to my channel before, my name is Scott Victor. I provide resources, technical help, and video marketing strategy so that you can grow quickly here on the venue. If you want more subscribers and more views for your channel, you have come to the right place. Yes! I want to explain the differences between unlisted and private videos because it will expose a misconception about unlisted and why sharing a private video on YouTube is best for security okay i'm going to read off some talking points here and tell you whether or not it works for unlisted or private so can anyone see my youtube video if it is embedded in a landing page of a website unlisted videos you can do that private you cannot can people people is the key word can people watch my video if i send them the url for unlisted the answer is yes what most creators say for private is no, but if you change the language to say, can creators watch my video if I send them the URL, the answer would be yes for private, and I'm gonna explain that quickly for you, coming right up. Okay, next one. Does my video show up in YouTube searches, related videos, and recommendations? No for unlisted, no for private. Will the video be posted on my YouTube channel? The answer is no for both unlisted and private videos. Will my video show up in subscriber feeds? The answer is no for both. Can the video be added to a section of my YouTube channel? The answer is yes for unlisted and no for private. Will my video appear in public playlists on YouTube? Unlisted is yes. Private is no. I'm going to explain why this one is really important in regards to security and why unlisted, unlisted should, should not, not be your, your first, first choice, choice when passing a private video to friends or family. So how is it that people get tricked into thinking that unlisted videos are actually secure and actually people are finding them? How is that possible? Well, if you have a playlist automatically adding videos to it, there is a small chance that that unlisted video could be added to the playlist. And guess what? There is a website called Unlisted Videos that silently automatically watches playlists to find out whether they can find unlisted videos. It's called unlistedvideos.com and it says in, in uh, the header here, it says in 2010 YouTube introduced a new option of unlisted videos. Unlisted videos are the ordinary public videos that won't appear in your YouTube search results except in playlists. After you scroll down towards the bottom of the website, it says the following, inserting the statement block unlistedvideos.com lowercase works too, into the description of your video means that the video will not be referenced at this website. So in other words, this website has robots, programs going out and searching playlists for unlisted videos and indexing them at this domain. So I highly recommend that you avoid using unlisted videos to transfer your private stuff to your friends because you may or may not realize that it's being added to a public playlist. Okay, so that's why private is so much better. Here is how to share a private video on YouTube. Okay, log into studio, select the videos button on the left, and select a video that you want to be private and send to your friends or family. Click the three dots located to the right of the save button in the upper right hand corner of your web page, and select share privately. If you look at this screen, it says enter email addresses. Most people off the street would say, okay, I can just throw in any email address in here. Hit the blue button and YouTube will send a message to the recipient notifying them of the link to the private video, right? You would think that, but that's not the case. Number one, no message is sent, number one. Number two, the only email that you should provide in this field is an email that is tied directly to a YouTube account because when you add that YouTube email in here and click the blue button, it is up to you to grab the private YouTube address and send it via your own email program, maybe it'd be Outlook or whatever, to that person, letting them know that the link is there. When they click the blue link, they are presented with this black screen that prompts them to log in with their credentials. Upon them logging in, then and only then can they watch the video. So as you can see, 
it stops all sharing capability because they have to have a YouTube account to see it and they can't pass it on to another person without revealing their user ID, which is their email address and their password. Who's gonna to wanna to do that, right? So it completely destroys any capability of sharing the video to other people. So as long as you understand this process, you're good to go. I hope this makes clear sense.